Energy is what drives our world. It's what drives our economies. You can't have economic growth if you don't have electricity, if you don't have power. For countries to grow, for companies to grow, to prosper, they have to be confident that they're going to have a consistent source of electricity. I don't know that 30 years ago we would have guessed that how much of today's electricity is being generated from solar and wind. Um, it's uh, incredible to think that some countries like Denmark or Germany are going to be predominantly fueled by renewable energy in the coming decades. Um, so it's very exciting. Uh, at the same time, coal is still king in Asia and likely will be for the coming years. And certainly everything that's happening around natural gas and shale gas and oil has really changed the dynamics around natural gas um, in the United States and in parts of, uh, parts of Europe. So it's really a significantly different mix of energy sources that we would have seen just 20 or 30 years ago. The utility grid that was once a spoke in a wheel system is now becoming increasingly fragmented. And utilities need data and data analytics to be able to manage all these different sources of power. But you're also seeing new opportunities around the Internet of Things. It's not just the dynamism around new sources of electricity and power generation, but also how that electricity is being sold and delivered through new business models. Frost & Sullivan's Power Generation Program Area covers fuel and equipment for both conventional and renewable energy sources.